Hello there friends and family. Welcome to Nanava's Kitchen. And guys, I am thrilled, beyond thrilled today, to present to you Kontomre Abomu and Ampesi. Mommy and Kana Gane Dianede. Ah, Gane Dianede ye. Nedian when you say then kwanzu so just say it's healthy, you know, and ye yemo ni pediano. <laughs> so here we have a combination of a starch and a dip. So the abomu part is the dip part. Literally translated abomu means dip. Okay, so the starch part is what I have just prepped. A combination of my green plantains and my taro root, which is also known as cocoa amankani. So you just peel them and you cut them to your preferred size. You boil it for 12 minutes with some seasoning, which is salt. And I've also incorporated three eggs so I can boil them all together to be efficient with my time in the kitchen. Now in this pot here, I have a combination of my um, contomere and my uh, turkey berries okay which is quaun suswa i've also added kobe which is my salted tilapia and i've added two roma tomatoes i'm going to boil that for about seven minutes okay while that's happening in this asanka here which is a local grinder or food processor i have a combination of my onions my uh petite bell chilies which is also known as bakushito i've added a little bit of salt to create that coarse surface to grind and i've added also some roasted peanuts for that nuttiness to bring more nuttiness and umami to the dish i am grilling this fermented fish which is momone okay it's a very small piece of it so it's it's heavy on on the salt part so you ought to be mindful of that so you don't over season your dish so i grilled it for about just five minutes and then i incorporate it and i just keep grinding so you see the theme here we're doing a lot of grinding to achieve that dip part of the dish okay so seven minutes afterwards our fresh produce including the kobe are cooked so the theme here is really to just combine all of your items in this asanka and just grind till you reach your preferred texture all right so that's what we're doing now the Contomre is very similar in taste and character to spinach so you might substitute with that if you don't have taro root leaf you know readily available so yes there we go we just go ahead and you combine everything just grind all right now if you also don't have the asanka and tapoli just use your food processor and it will do a perfect job for you this dish brings me back such fun memories while i was pursuing my tertiary or part of my tertiary education in kumase in the ashanti region i befriended a whole bunch of ashanti women and i learned a lot from them in terms of of cooking and this is one of the recipes i picked from them and you know they described this dish as a, a farmer's dish just because it was founded by a farmer you know they, they use the fresh produce from the farm after a long and hard day of work they harvest their own produce right there in the farm and cook this dish and I, I, it just thrills me to think of how they are able to combine these local fresh ingredients and achieve such a burst of flavor our ancestors know they are smart people we have to give them credit so what I've done now is I have um, heated up some palm oil I've added some onions to it and I have also added the boiled Kobe and I cooked it only for two minutes and I've drizzled it over the uh, abomu now the plantain once it's cooked for 12 minutes you do have to go and fetch those and blanch it in ice cold water to stop the cooking so the baya ebeyo grow grow no oh i don't know how to say that in english <laughs> but you don't want your plantain to be mushy you want it to have texture so that's what grow grow means i guess and now i'm also adding some uh avocado uh, it, it is usually um combined with the avocado and it works beautifully together so our dish is ready guys and i'm going to enjoy this with my children unfortunately my husband who is vegan is unable to indulge because of the animal protein but i prepared this for him before with dawa dawa and it was beautiful thank you guys all for watching 
Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.